Hey everybody, I'm Adam Harry with Clint Leno. We're from Gold Lost Souls, and we've got the battle tome for the Slaves to Darkness book. At um, long last. Yes. For Warhammer Age of Sigmar, I'm very excited about this one. Uh, I, I happen to have a Slaves to Darkness army. I do too, in a box somewhere. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's just an old, it's an old school one, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, lots of cast warriors and, and some knights and, yeah. you know, a bunch of stuff. Uh, we're both pretty pumped about this one because it's been a while. Oh yeah. Uh, Slaves of Darkness, honestly, kind of taking a back burner, back seat uh, to the events in Age of Sigmar recently. You know, the Soul Wars and everything like that, that's been ramping up more than three. But they're back, and yeah. they're mean. <laughs> yeah, they are. And they're they're back and ready to roll. So we're going to take a quick tour of the book. Uh, Clint and I are here, and um, we're not going to do every page, but we are going to hit some of the highlights here. So uh, let's dive on in here. Let's take a look at the table of contents. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So uh, first off, uh, just running through real fast, again, uh, big section on the War Scrolls, what is that, uh, about 20 pages of mm -hmm. all the different units that are in this book now, which we'll cover some of the new ones. Uh, and then backing on up here, you've got all of the uh, lore and all that fun stuff that's really uh, kind of fills you in on what Archeon's been up to. Uh, and then we also get a, a good uh, primer on all the rules and whatnot. There's about 20-ish uh, pages of rules as well there in the middle so um and then of course points gotta have those yeah, yeah. cool so just flipping through here we'll start off with the uh, kind of war section quick overview of that uh, again it fills us in as to what Archeon has been up to um he's been he's been busy he's, you know he's been raising his forces uh putting down uh uh what do you mean Usurper, want to be usurpers and stuff yeah. like that. So you know, put out fires, put down upstarts. Yep. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot of folks. They, they focus heavily on the Varen's fire. That's kind of his his uh, domain, if you will. Um, yeah. So I don't know how like all the chaos gods, you know, been recruiting. <laughs> Still, so even Slanesh. Yeah, recruiting from prison. Yeah, uh, Slanesh. You know, maybe maybe making a comeback soon. There, were, there may be some bits in here about that. So just a uh, few. Yeah. Here we're going to look at the four um, kind of pantheons of I chaos. I really love that corn picture. <laughs> Does that, that skull is so psyched. It's just like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> he is very excited. Those eyeballs, man. He's on that warp dust. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Moving on from here. I want to get into, uh, again, filling with the doing chores, kind of what they've been up to. What our game's been up to you. You get the you get the gist of it. Introduce all the different start out. Yep. Um, cast knights. Get, I mean, this is the rundown section that talks about all the different units. So, for example, uh, demon stuff. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Bailo. Yep. What he's been up to. Then we get the model gallery, which there are some new models. Um, well, specifically the new there's new cast knights. There's the new lord on the carcass. <laughs> Um, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and there's some new cast warriors as well. So they have those new models. Yeah, the new warriors look yeah. amazing. Archeon's still awesome. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Why uh, mess with perfection? Right. Uh, moving on from here, also included in this book uh, are the uh, warrior, or sorry, monsters from Warcry mm -hmm. and the new the warbands. War yeah. Yep. So those are all part of this army now. You can take them as we well, could do before, but now they're actually uh, they're war scrolls. They're not just a mud. They're actually just Spire Tyrants! Yep. <laughs> Pretty excited about those guys, the Spire Tyrants, because they're the, the Varengard kind of mm -hmm. native yeah. uh, army, or forces of, of kind of the Barbarians, you know? Kind yeah, of, they're so. the yeah. the scouts of the Varengard of the Space Marines. Right. Uh, it's a good it's a good analogy. Uh, quick look at some army stuff here, some paint tips, of course. Got all of that. Uh, let's talk allegiance abilities real quick. <laughs> so, uh, Clint, why don't you run us through some of these all right, so first, um, you got the legions. And yeah. uh, unlike sub-factions, these legions are going to work more like the Hedonites of Slanesh Warbands, where each one is its own army unto itself. And each one's going to operate a little differently. Like, you got the Ravagers, which are disparate... Disparate? However you pronounce that. Uh, yeah. Like, Chaos Warbands that come together, and each one, uh, one of your heroes can be like, I'm staking claim, I'm the leader. And for one turn, he's the general. Right. And that's super cool. Um, then you've got Host of the Everchosen, that's of course the Varen Guard and things like that. Yeah. Uh, the Despoilers, which are your demons, and your Kabbalists, which are your mages and like your cultists and stuff. Yeah. Um, then you've got your aura. Each one of the, um, each aura is going to do a different thing, depending on what your hero has from his mark. 
Yeah, if you remember the old Mark system and mm-hmm. the Auras, they function similarly. Uh, they they are tweaked though. So, yeah. Uh, for example, the Cornate Aura uh, used to be just reroll ones uh, to hit. Now it is reroll ones, and if your general is within only within 12 inches, like if the unit is only within 12 inches, your general, they also get plus one to wound, which is a nice boost. It is. Uh, um, the undivided one's super yeah. cool. Uh, ignores battle shot for all of your units yep. and. Well, if they're wholly within 12, they're general. Right, right. And if your general is also undivided um, within 12 inches, you get a death save. Yeah, you get a six That's up, super cool. Feel the pain death save, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know Zinch, uh, you basically have reroll one for your armor saves, and uh, it does a spell save on a five up. Nurgle is plus one damage, and then uh, you subtract one from hit rolls yeah. uh, for people trying to shoot you with missile weapons. And then Slanesh gets the double hit on sixes. Yep. And reroll charges if you're slow. Yeah, so again, they've all been tweaked slightly. They're all pretty nasty, I think. Um, they're a lot tougher than uh, than they used to be. That oh, reroll yeah. ones for, for Zinch, I think, is oh, yeah. pretty spicy. So, um, and just the ability to just, like, absorb yeah. spells. Yeah. That's super strong. Yeah. Uh, ignoring endless spell effects on a 5-up is pretty nice. Uh, we also have the Eye of the Chaos God table, which is back similar to what it was before, so... Uh, yep. There's uh, new spell lores, lores of the damned. Uh, each what, unit. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and explain this section here. So this is where you get into the, like the different armies. So like you got the ravagers here. This is what the ravagers do. This is their command traits and yep. their uh, artifacts of power. The ravagers are the ones where it's like, okay, first six of your heroes, as long as your heroes and a demon prince, six of your heroes can have six different command traits. Yeah. And then each one gets to be the general for one turn, and he has Rally the Tribes, which lets him pull in cultists and marauders once per game, and then you have to switch to a different character. Yeah. Because you can only do that once. Um, these are pretty cool. Um, I like Flames of Spite, just because it's like, if you hurt me and I roll a six, or if I hurt you and I roll a six, then you take a wound. Yep. Um, Moving on, Kabbalah, same deal. Mm-hmm. You got the rituals here, Mantrates, Artifacts, yeah. Power. If you play Corrin, you're going to like the Kabbalists. I think, I know this is going to sound weird because they're the spell guys, but they also have the Cabal rituals where you can just sacrifice your marauders to do cool stuff. Yeah. Um, but you'll notice that the command traits for the uh, Kabbalists, you have to be a wizard to be the general of a Kabbalist. Yes. Not that you would take a Kabbalist army if you didn't have a wizard general, but yeah. that's an important distinction. Yeah, so Korn's going to be weird if you do want to play the Kabbalist. Well, yeah, <laughs> but like if you liked Korn and liked throwing away your guys for yeah. stuff, yeah. then... Um, oh, you're saying if you like to play the Korn play style. Yeah. I got you. Not, yeah. don't Not play if you like... No, don't play Korn in the Kabbalist. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait a minute. No, no. <laughs> I got Sorry, you. I'm... Yeah, I tracked you now. All so right. if you like the play style of, of the of yeah. Korn, Blaze Korn, you'll like the Kabbalist play style. Gotcha. Yeah. Or if you like, you know, like... Flavorful Chaos, which is where it's like, you know, we gotta sacrifice our dudes for magical yeah, yeah. power. Uh, and then there's the spoilers. These are your demons. Yeah. You're like, ah, monsters, ah, monsters. heck with mortals. Yeah. <laughs> despoilers. Um, and again, command traits, your despoiler general has to be a demon prince. Yep. Shocker. Um, yeah. But it's super strong. Um, the despoilers have some really good demon-related yeah. stuff. Um, and I then, do like their pitch black thing that uh, basically can... can uh, block line of sight mm-hmm. uh, which is kind of neat so if you are fighting against a lot of shooting places shooting armies in your in your area uh, it's great because it yeah. just makes your uh, it makes uh, terrain help you out a lot makes me sad about the uh, my <laughs> OZR catapults yep it's like oh I can't see you anymore well fantastic I'll shoot some of them and then finally host of the ever chosen the big boys yep and then this is the, uh, yeah, the eight basically circles you take Archeon and the yeah he, but what well, well, why would why? you? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like taking Catacross and not making him the general. Right, right, right. Um, but then you get to pick one of these eight circles. Each one of the circles is going to be really cool stuff. The eighth circle is really cool. Your Baron Guard can fly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we need to go into that anymore. No. Yeah, flying Baron Guard. <laughs> I think that's enough to say about that. Uh, uh, you also get to battle plan here as well. Uh, Path to Glory stuff's all in this book, too. Yeah. Uh, we do get some new um, War Scrolls. A lot of new War Scrolls. Uh, a lot of good stuff here. Again, we're not going to go through all this, but you get the idea. Mm-hmm. Several War Scrolls to go through. Uh, I do want to point out a couple of new units, uh, or tweaks at least. Archeon, 800 points of pain. Uh, real quick, too, his uh, Slayer of Kings is now Rend uh, 2, which mm-hmm. is nice. Uh, it's a nice little boost there. Uh, he, he's super deadly. Uh, Still just the yeah. heroes? Pretty much. Pretty Alex. Much. <laughs> uh, 
Bear Guard, seen them before. I want to check out the new uh, Chaos Lord on uh, Karkadrak. There he is, right here. Uh, you can see his rules actually online as well, so you can go, uh, go find his unit on the Warhammer you know, the website. You can pull this up and look at it yourself. Uh, what do you think of this model so far? Or the, um, not the model, but the, the rules. I think he's really cool. Um, I like his rules. I thought it was a little weird when I was first looking him over that the Battle Axe didn't have any rend, but then I saw it the Battle Axe did, and I'm like, you know what, that's fair, because if the Battle Axe does any damage, um, if he kills anyone, he gets to heal himself. And um, his command ability is super cool if you want to play a mounted army, because yeah. it's here, uh, Knights of Chaos. Uh, you can pick a unit of knights, chariots, or gore beasts, wholly within 18 inches, and they can re-roll charges and add one to hit rolls when they charge. Yeah, cool stuff. And there's just a ton of new models in here as well. I'm going to flip over real quick. Uh, of course, back, slot roots, all this fun stuff. Uh, we now get into the units from Warcry. Mm -hmm. So the Furies, the Raptors are there. Then we get into all the different warbands. Those are all in this book too. So you can bust out those fire tyrants. I know Flip and I were talking about those guys. Yeah. Uh, looking pretty good. Uh, Iron Goggles, I'll take these. And then, of course, the uh, monsters from Warcry. There's a couple of them also in here. Uh, where is the big. There's the. Uh, Look for the Ogre. Yeah, Ogre. he's a hero. He's, he's a hero. Yeah, yeah sorry. he's back this way. He's so back he's, this actually, way. he's one of the new uh, monsters yeah. from Warcry, but he can lead your army if you want him yeah. to. Yeah, pretty <laughs> sweet. Uh, and then of course the endless spells and points as well. So they got some really juicy stuff in here. Um, points wise, I believe they did actually go up a little bit. A little bit, but so, they got tougher, so it's fair. Yeah. Uh, we're looking. Uh, I've heard you know some of rumblings online, like uh, just overall in general. Well, they did go up in points, they went up in lethality too to help compensate, mm -hmm. so um, I think it's been a pretty solid book. Yeah, um, you, you get the value for the points for sure. Yeah, I think it's been a nice uh, <laughs> nice upgrade from the Grand Alliance book we're all using, so uh, looking forward to more from the Slaves and Darkness. Well, that's going to be it for today. Uh, yeah, go through the book. Clint, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, man. Uh, appreciate your perspective on this one. Uh, but that's going to be it for us here at Bulls. I'm Adam Harry. I'm Clint Leno. We're from Bell Souls. Thanks for watching. <laughs>